Well, yesterday we talked about healthful snacks for the kids this summer. And today we turn our attention to keeping them entertained. New this morning, our John Shumway is here with the details on how to do it without destroying the budget. This is a tough balance, John. It really is. The last thing anybody wants to see is a child transfixed for the summer on a video screen. And the last thing you want to hear are those dreaded words whining. I'm bored. Sure, you could go to a toy department of a local store and load up, but rather than emptying your bank account, shop at home first. Go through your kids' toys and activities. Maybe there's something from their birthday or the holidays that they didn't open up or they didn't really play with, and you can bring those back out and repurpose them. The kids might just be surprised what they have. They may be something that they used last year and totally forgot about. National parenting blogger, mother of three, and Uniontown native Amanda Mushro says think about new ways to use what you have, like her son's water table. You can take your dish soap, put a bunch of the dish soap into the, into the water table, and then he has tons of bubbles. Or add small toys to the bubbly mix. It makes it new and exciting, and he's having fun and entertained, and it's a win-win for everyone. Get the kids outdoors. Dusting off those bikes, they make sure they're going for bike rides, they're, you know, using their scooters. Hoses and sprinklers can fill hours, and there are play dates. We're going to reach out to your friend that's down the street, and maybe they, you can go down there and play, and then they can come back here. I mean, everything is always more exciting at somebody else's house. And if you do need something, before you spend any money, Mushro says check out a Facebook Buy Nothing group. You may have a neighbor that is giving up a bike or a scooter or a board game that your kids have never played. Yeah, and you can get it for free. And then when you're done with it, you can offer it back to the Buy Nothing page and someone else can enjoy it. I mean, that's hmm. good advice, but what if all they want to do is play on their electronics and you don't want to fight with them? Well, you do need to establish a time limit and make sure that there are alternatives planned to playing those games. Even set up a calendar so that they have something to look forward to, especially time set aside to connect with friends. And it really is true. It's always more fun if you're at somebody else's house. Yeah. Yeah, and I like the idea of going back and seeing what they have that they've forgotten about yes. and trying to get them to play with that because it's like new, mm -hmm. you right? Know? Like if they don't remember, like it's like an, a, a special gift. Yeah, that super soaker that's been sleeping all winter and just waiting. Exactly. Those are pretty fun. Those are fun. All